Dreallday.com What up everybody, Dre Ball and Dreallday.com Sweet's motivation is called Baddest Motherfucker in the Room And I've talked about this principle many times before Maybe one video comes to mind where I talk about you know, people thinking how much is too much confidence how what's the borderline between being confident and being cocky and my thing with that is for those of you who don't remember or didn't see that video is that who cares what's the difference between being confident and cocky the only difference between being confident and cocky is what the person who's talking about that person says so for example if I sit here and tell you I'm this and that the only person who decides whether I'm confident or cocky is the person who's watching their opinion is all right he's, he's very confident or oh he's too confident he's cocky who the fuck cares? It doesn't matter. The reason that this week's motivation is called Baddest Motherfucker in the Room is actually I was watching this video by uh, Diddy, Puff Daddy, whatever you, Sean Combs, whatever you want to call him. And he said, and somebody asked him, yo, what is it that makes you so successful? What's the number one key to you being so successful? And he said, the reason I'm so successful is because I have always believed that I'm one of the baddest motherfuckers on this planet. I'm one of the baddest motherfuckers that's ever been born. He didn't say music. He didn't say business. He didn't say money. He didn't say dancing. He didn't say being an executive. He said, I'm one of the baddest motherfuckers on the planet. That encompasses everything he does. Now, for those of you who watch boxing, I don't watch boxing like that, but I watch Floyd Mayweather. He's the best guy to watch for me. He's my favorite guy to watch now. Basically, the only guy I watch, keep it real. Y'all watch Floyd Mayweather when he's on his videos or he does his TV shows or even when he's boxing. Floyd Mayweather believes he is the baddest fighter to ever fight. He is the flyest motherfucker. He talks the most shit. He backs it up the most. And he also got the best record. And he also makes the most money. But those are byproducts of his mentality. His mentality is, I'm the baddest motherfucker in this room. Any room he walks into, you think about a Diddy. Or you think about a, a Floyd Mayweather. Or anyone else you can think of. Whatever example you want to think. When they walk into the room, it don't matter who else is in the room. You can put them in the room blindfolded and say, yo, is there anybody in this room who is, anybody in this room who could get busy more than you can get busy? And they'll say no. They don't even have to know who else is in the room. It could be their best friend. It could be their wife, girlfriend, husband, whoever. They know they're the baddest motherfucker in the room without even having to, th without even having to think about it. And that's the mentality that any one of us can adapt if we choose to thing is, as I talked about in the previous motivation, so many people, average person puts themselves at a level and they say, this is my place in life and this is where I need to stay. Thinking like that is going to hold you back for your entire life. It's going to hold you in one spot as an average person and you're not going to get any further because you put a limit on yourself. You put a ceiling above your own head. Take the ceiling off of your head and understand that you can be as great or as terrible or as average as you want to be and there's nobody stopping you from doing that. And your belief and who you are as a person is going to determine what you do. So it's not really about the actions that you take at first. It's not at the core level. It's not about the actions you take or the money you got or the people you know or the location you in or the job you hold down. It's about how you feel about yourself because how you feel about yourself is going to determine what happens with all the rest of that stuff. So if you feel like you're the baddest motherfucker in the room and you actually believe it and you walk it and you talk it and you stop giving a fuck about whether somebody says you're confident or cocky because it doesn't matter, then you'll start to notice all those other things that I mentioned. Business, social, personal, financial, your work, space, whatever it is you do, all that stuff will begin to manifest itself in one way or another. But you got to believe it first. Work on your game. DreAllDay.com this is Fred Medev. I'm from Slovakia. Work on your game.